welcome to Talking Bottom. Yep, this is episode two. Gas uh, man! Yeah, gas. Second episode. No one now. calls it gas. No one episode. Everyone no, no. calls it gas man! It's the gas man episode. It's the gas man episode, yeah, the one with the, uh, the gas man. <laughs> what we do every episode is we uh, talk about Bottom and we focus on a particular episode. We are on the second one now, called Gas, and I have to say it's my favourite one. So when watching it, I, I was trying to think, is this my favourite one? There's a couple that are kind of, that are up there. Carnival is one of the ones up there, and Apocalypse. But I think overall it's my favourite. Just to give people a bit of background, uh, let me just do the synopsis for people. Just sure, so. sure. This one is um, Gas, and the uh, short synopsis on iTunes is, The gas man calls to read Eddie and Richie's meter. Not a problem. It is when you're getting your gas from an illegal connection to your next door neighbour's gas. Again, an- another very basic, uh, simple plot. This is an episode that I do remember watching when it went out originally um, really? in 1991 I remember it because I remember asking certain questions about it of my parents and of my older brother <laughs> uh, I think it was the one that made me kind of realise that you like women <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the really there's no women pervert. in this oh there is women yeah, of course uh, there's a sexual object in this episode this is pretty object. much like yeah that's exactly yeah. how she's treated in this episode yeah. she's barely yeah. mm. nah, it was the goodness. one that made me realise what an incredibly brilliant and manic performer Rick Mail mm. could be mm-hmm. you know like the levels of mania he goes through in this one is just awesome but yeah like for you Angela where, where do you have this episode on your sort of rankings for a very long time it has been up there in my top three but it's difficult because I can't really choose a favourite overall bottom yeah, episode. I yeah. try and pin it down to one per series. And it's between Contest and Gas for me in series yeah. one. And then it's Culture in series two. And series three, therefore, has to kind of just oh. lose out. But it would be whole. Okay, so you're a fan of the two-hander ones? Yeah, basically. Sure. I Wait, like this the two-hander. Isn't a two-hander one. <laughs> this isn't a two-hander one, is it? But uh, Contest is. <laughs> no, I... no, exactly. I think that this one probably is always at the forefront of people's minds when they're remembering favourite episodes because there's so many memorable bits. Mm. Sure. It's things that have, you know, been turned into memes and musical remixes and things on YouTube and stuff. Like there's a Gas Gas Man remix. Yeah, yeah. Gas Man, okay. Is it the only one where Richie and Eddie work together on battering someone else? I think so. Because Um, that is one of my favourite fight scenes, I think, because it's teamwork rather than against each other for once. Specifically, seeing it on the violence happen to someone that isn't one of them is rare, Mm. but... With just those two, those two attacking someone, I think we've had Eddie knock a, a charity worker mm. and stuff yeah. down the stairs. But yeah, yeah, I think this is the only case of them teaming up yeah. to be up somewhere. And it's just, even though it should be horrific in so many ways, it's absolute <laughs> the cho- joy. The timing, that. Yeah. the timing, the choreography of it. Yeah. Of it it's it's absolutely... too much. Oh, it's too much. It's too much. It's still too much. Whoa, it's carrying on. And also, it is uh, for a, a little bit of trivia. The first ever use of a frying pan for violence in Bottom, Amazing. and it's and not on one of the two. So the yeah, first one yeah. to get mm-hmm. a car on the head is the gas man. Then Richie gets one later, but yeah, first yeah. first uh, frying pan usage. I think that you know them beating the shit out of slash nearly killing the gas man kind of set their benchmark for the levels of violence that they were then gonna mm-hmm. go on to pursue. So you know, in the previous episode there was punches and fights and things, and there's a few of those in this episode. But to have this level of um, of cartoonish violence kind of like t- tells you, A, they're willing to go over the top for comedy's sake, but also B, don't take it too seriously because, again, it is that kind of slightly cartoonish, it's over the top for that particular reason. You know what I mean? But sure, do sure. you think, when I was re-watching it with fresh eyes and trying to analyse it in a way I never have before, Richie and Eddie, why do you like them? When they're battering the shit out of a complete and total stranger, yeah, yeah. Yeah. they're illegally stealing gas from next door. Why are we rooting it's for them? Because they're childlike, maybe. But that, but that's what I found fascinating because it's played for such big laughs. That's how it yeah. works because it yeah. could be so easily horrific. Yeah. If yeah. if it went badly wrong, it's because Rick and Aid give so much to that performance. Yeah. I also wondered if it's because similarly to Traffic Wardens. Do we secretly hate it when a gas man turns up? <laughs> like, everyone wants to ignore it when the gas man rings sure, on the doorbell, yeah, don't they? Yeah. And I did wonder whether maybe that's a sort of slight, sort of like psychological so. thing that's there underlying. Yeah. We don't mind them beating up the gas man because, yeah, why should we have to pay for our gas? Because it's someone in a slight position of authority, that makes mm. it okay. Uh, and then in future episodes, when Richie threatens, say, an old lady, uh, he gets his comeuppance because she brings back the grandson mm, to, uh, yeah, to yeah. punch him in the face. Yeah. yeah. And that is the key, I suppose, by the end of the episode. They do sort of get their comeuppance. Yeah. But at that point when you're watching it, 
it's the second ever bottom episode yeah. and you're totally yeah, rooting yeah. for Eddie and Richie to yeah, yeah batter the hell out of this guy it's, it's hilarious a, like yeah. That, that, it's it's that, one of the most sublime scenes, but yeah, I just I was watching it just like incredulous sure. at how much yeah. Richie and Eddie are likable despite mm. actually how we should loathe them. Which is a testament to both Adrian yeah. Emerson and Rick Mel's performance and the writing. Yeah, yeah. It's just well, and, but their writing as well. well I, I just think this this poor man well, is coming in, and this is going to be yeah. This is probably the worst day of his whole <laughs> life. <laughs> it's the last Definitely job of the, the day. Worst, yeah, worst worst day at work for sure. <laughs> Um, so I caught this episode randomly um, it's the first ever thing I saw but I didn't see the whole episode I just caught a bit of it and the only bit I really remember is the fork going in and out of yeah, him and that, yeah. that wonderful weird noise that kind of squelch snappy mm. noise so I, I'd never seen anything of Rick Mayall Adrian Emerson before so I got to be about uh, eight years old nine years old or something and I remember at school just oh did, did you see that weird thing that was like a cartoon but not and I stabbed someone with a fork like what What the hell are you talking about (laughs) Uh, yeah and it wasn't until uh, at least a year later that one of my friends showed me an episode on tape which was uh, Apocalypse and I'm like I've seen this before yeah yeah. okay because I have to hold my hands up and say I don't have any genuine memories of watching the first series go out on telly yeah it was definitely taped I think I saw series two Mm -hmm. go out and then therefore bought the video yeah. and we'd watch that incessantly. And I think, as I said, we watched from gas onwards most of the time because we loved yeah. the Gas Man episode so much, me and my brother. Yeah. I mean, the opening scene where they're doing the cards yeah. and all of the That's, ludicrousy uh, of the stakes that they're putting did in. You, you know, did you guys ever... Um, not answering the door for six yeah. years. Did like, you guys ever try um, yeah. to play poker like with the city Yeah, forfeits, absolutely. Which, yeah, we wrote we ridiculous things. Yeah. I think yeah. we had yeah. 3p yeah. in real money, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. mimicking yeah. it. Like children, because we were children at that yeah. point yeah. but it's just so joyful that and they're just sat in the flat one thing I wanted to mention is again with the weather it's snowing outside yes, yes it's snowing so it's snowing bad weather icicles you know, it's wondering. clearly yeah. cold because yeah, yeah. that's why they got the gas turned oh up. yeah sure yeah. <laughs> and it's that thing of being huddled around the table, you're bored, you can't go out, you're yeah. playing well, a card stove games. on, haven't they, for heat? They've right. got the heating and... <laughs> the stuff. Like, what? That, that is something I absolutely love. Opening scene of this. Yeah. Initially, you don't know they're stealing gas, but yeah, they're using the yeah. stove as a heater. Yeah. And then it makes sense. With well, the if heater as well. If you're going to yeah. steal the heat, if you're going to steal gas from someone, yeah. you may as well go over the whole hog yeah, with yeah. it. But yeah, mm. using the stove and the heater, the things they're playing for both forfeits and little prizes as oh, well. Oh, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is the first ever reference of Sue Carpenter. And two references in she, one episode yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, I think I remember from this episode asking who she was. <laughs> but even at the age of 11, knowing that I would not want to have to clean and disinfect around the back of the lavatory bowl. Yes. And I was, don't think I knew what it even meant, really, but yeah. it sounded disgusting. It sounds the way disgusting. they say it, right around the back. Of the lavatory bowl. Yeah. And again, using the word lavatory rather than toilet. Yeah, just yeah. Just so, so horrible. And the whole, I mean, them playing broke at the beginning is like two adolescents playing, isn't it? You, Richie's behaviour cheating reminds me of me when I <laughs> when I would play Monopoly, where you everyone's looking away, I'm going to nick some money, and like no, literally either never. sit on it to hide it, mm-hmm. or slide it under the board or something like that. And think you're getting away with it when yeah. actually the adult yeah. in the room knows exactly what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. And that's where it, it's just a brilliant then topper, isn't it, from Eddie? Like... I'm not angry, but we're playing yeah. with a deck of yeah, 12, 12 cards, cards here. He's not even cheating yeah. with different yeah. cards. He's using the same pack. <laughs> like, what makes Eddie topping it so uh, well, an act of yeah. brilliance from their writing is the fact that he cheats too, but it's Richie's ignorance yes. of the game. Yeah, and, yeah. and indeed, of a deck of cards. Yes. That you think he doesn't know yeah. there's fucking only yeah. four, four cards in it. Yeah, yeah, and well, clearly, yeah, Eddie's using a different pack of cards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, yeah, because he's uh, free paired, isn't it? So he yeah. yeah. doesn't understand the rules. So, and but when Eddie does reveal the cheat, you see sort of cheeky look of yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna get yes I'm gonna get away with this re-watching it did you guys notice that Eddie's wearing a wedding ring I did that's, mm. that's one of my quibbles actually yeah. Yeah. one one thing that so was an must error must be a mistake yes Eddie's obviously forgotten to take yeah. it off he's, he? I think so I don't think he's wearing it in the latter scene so I'm assuming they started shooting Maybe. Got five minutes in. At that point, went oh shit! You're wearing your wedding ring, right? We're not reshooting the first five minutes. Just take it off, and no one, no one will notice. The children and, won't notice. Yeah, and maybe no one would notice, but it's there's, close there's up a close-up of his hands, hands yeah, holding yeah. the card. It's only on the rewatch for yeah, quite yeah. a few times that That's you would notice it, that. It, it, it just, doesn't. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't. But um, you know, maybe well, there's a backstory. What if he's secretly married? He just sneaks off to play poker around his friend Richie's. Of course, if Richie had been wearing a wedding ring as well, then that would have imbued a whole new meaning. Oh my goodness! Yeah. So one other thing that the opening card sequence gave us that I would always try then 
after seeing this episode with friends when playing cards is one card slam. <gasps> 12 quid! Yeah. I love yeah. the feign of, of shock that Eddie has. <laughs> <laughs> L- lucky yeah. me! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely quoted that many a time. <gasps> 12 quid! And Richie starts reaching into his pocket to, to give him the money just when the, when the uh, doorbell starts. I see. Yeah. What, what's the forfeit he gets that he wins? Oh, I don't have to answer the door, not for six years. Yeah. But... Well, it's another inconsistency. Not in this episode, but there's loads of scenes of Eddie answering the door. <laughs> or, well, Probably been forgotten. Well, if, I mean, like in that case, you could say if you're after inconsistencies, in later episodes, Eddie is illiterate. And in this one, he writes down a load mm. of stuff in the guest man's uh, book. Oh, yeah. Okay. So there's a few of those. I um, think we'll allow them to get away with it for yeah. poetic license. Now, did you notice as well, the first shot you see of the hallway of um, Richie going down to open the door... You see the sledgehammer leaning up against the oh, wall, no, ready to be that. used uh, okay, later I'll, later scene. Check check precursor. Chekhov's gun. Yes, I okay. guess so. Yeah. Although, having said that, I remember when I watched it, like Eddie pulls out the fire and goes, "Oh, that should come in handy." And I thought, "Oh, they'll use that yeah, later on." Yeah, I okay. thought that, and it yeah. doesn't at all. Yeah. yeah. Gasman turns up. Start of Richie's ever increasing levels of mania through this episode. Oh, it's yeah. he's bl- a blaming him <laughs> yes. for ruining his concentration. Yeah. So we're already against him because how dare he ring the doorbell? Yeah. B uh, for stealing his electricity. Yes, I'm not yeah. the Aga Khan. Yeah. yeah. Did anybody know who the Aga Khan was when you first watched Bottom? I'm not, I'm not sure I know up. who it is now. Do you not know who it is now? No. Okay. I, I do only because I Googled it recently. Okay. <laughs> and I'm still like, I Googled it sure. quite it? a while ago, but essentially it's a guy who owns pretty much 20% of the wealth of all of the Muslim nations. Something, yeah, he's, okay. a, he's an imam. Specific I don't want to step weird. out of line, but he's basically some kind of like... Like, he's think... been in he's been in power since like 1957 oh. it's a religious position as well as the fact that he's an incredibly wealthy man that's the funny thing that's yeah. why it's saying I'm but, not the Aga Khan why what, does Richie know this yeah but what a wonderfully obscure yeah. reference yeah, so, yeah. so like, wonderful you know now you'd say like Bill Gates or mm-hmm. Mark Zuckerberg yeah, or something yeah. The Aga Khan. Mm, it's the language, again. Yeah. They go for the funniest possible mixture of words, don't they? Like, the Aga Khan. Yeah. It's fantastic. He opens the door. It's uh, Mark Lambert playing the gas man. What a lovely accent he has. Is that the, his real accent? I think so, because the only other thing I've seen him in was uh, Cracker. I can't remember what the episodes were, but he was a guy, his character visited prostitutes, and then he ended up killing one of them. And he was like the person that Fitz was looking for. Quite creepy in that. But I'm pretty sure it was... So his, his Interesting act, crossover of plot yeah, between yeah. the yeah. gas man and yeah. Cracker there, <laughs> yeah. therefore. Yeah. Which came first? Uh, I think it was Bottom. It this was, this was 91. Cracker yeah. didn't start until about 93. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I used to love watching a bit of Cracker. Yeah. Uh, that's the only other thing I've seen him in. I'm sure he's done loads of other stuff. Sure. But yeah, I think that's his real accent. Okay. Um, where is it? it Yorkshire or Leeds? I think York- it's either real or it's been yeah. hammed up. Yeah, yeah I think it's Yorkshire. I yeah. think yeah. so. Yeah, it's definitely your shit. <laughs> I like the bit with the, is there someone that looks after you, all that stuff. Uh, the, the complete oblivious nature that Eddie has in this. Like, what, what? It's like, oh, yeah. you, why can't you hear? Yeah. He has his later as well. <laughs> yeah. And then there's the whole thing of, oh, who is it, darling? Don't let him in. Oh, yeah, let him in Dreamboat. So yeah. he, he sets up this thing of them being a weird couple. Yeah. Then as soon as Richie mentions something about making love, Eddie's disgusted. Suddenly, mm. like, oh no, we're not. <laughs> yeah. And does the biggest single backstep away from yeah. someone that I've ever seen on camera. Like, yes. I'm okay, I'm not standing next to him. See, it's proof. <laughs> <laughs> Takes all yeah. sorts, don't mm. it? Yeah. Then it's revealed that he uh, is looking at all the uh, gas meters on the street because there's been a complaint that someone's been paying too much for their gas, which they make them look. Very what nervous I love, and shifty. It's wonderful how they are putting the lines into the gas man's mouth just to set up the plot, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, it's just yeah, so yeah. obvious and it's just so beautiful the way it all comes well, out. It's I like, mean, well, it takes me 15 minutes to do the meter in this one. That is if it, I don't knock off. Yeah. <laughs> knock off as well. Yeah. Brilliant. And knock yeah, off because he is just first, about to get battered. The first plan. <laughs> Paul, I don't know if he's going. He's intending to murder him. Uh, yeah. He's going to attack him. Well, what stops him? He turns first... around. If he oh no, if he sees me hit him, yeah. then yeah. that's bad. Well, you know, I suppose you would infer from that that his intention was to knock him out. Yeah. Uh, you know, without him seeing, and, th- and then we'll do. We'll have enough time there. to yeah. cover our tracks. I will say that one thing I absolutely love from Aid Edmondson is when the gas man says the line, "Someone's paying too much for their gas." You see, Aid Edmondson do this sort of silent. Little, yeah. facial scream towards yeah. Richie yeah. Uh, which tells you shit we've been caught out brilliant to- you know totally hamming it up but amazing which is almost breaking the fourth wall but they're not it's to yeah. each other yeah. but yeah. it means we're just again slowly being told right okay they're stealing yeah. gas and they've got to get away with this somehow Yeah. Mean- how are they going to <laughs> they're going to have to batter him meanwhile Richie turns towards the camera in that way that he often does uh, with his excessive nervousness coming on so Richie kind of veers between 
uh, through this episode. I mean, his mania escalates as time goes. And the whole plot, this whole plot for this episode is one of escalation. Something happens, and then something progresses mm, beyond yeah. that. I like. It. But Richie veers for, uh, while the gas man's there. It's between mania and nervousness, and sure, the nervousness sure. feeding into the mania. What's so great about this is uh, I think this is one of the only times when someone coming in, someone visiting them just feels like a normal person and he's in the world of this mental crazy stuff and it's so much so heightened as well because uh with other people coming in like the landlord yeah. um mm. lady natasha they're all a bit weird as well but uh, yeah the gas man's yeah. actually incredibly normal isn't yeah. he yeah that's a good point yeah if you were stood in his shoes you'd want to get out of there as well wouldn't you yeah. but oh, um, it's just what it's they, not his fault <laughs> that's it yeah. and, and it's the mundanity of offering him a cup of tea. Oh yeah, yeah. while he's he must. while he's being threatened yeah. with a yeah. cricket bat. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he does what would probably be the most sensible thing, which is to try and de-escalate the two loonies by, by yeah, going being polite. Okay, okay yeah. I'll have a cup of tea. Sure, they've been caught in a lie because uh, he's read the meter. It reads all noughts, and they uh, they say, "Well, yeah, well that's that's right," because obviously they're not being blamed for their gas. Like, well, that makes sense because we don't use gas. Then they have to keep him there while maintaining the facade that they don't use gas. And uh, there's a bit of a dated thing then when it's like, we'll make a cup of tea. I'll just put the kettle on. And that's just an expression now, but yeah. that, back then it meant put the kettle on the stove and so he questions it. Like, yeah, yeah, oh, I meant put it on the floor. But yeah, the farce <laughs> and the building of the absolute lunacy yeah. of the, the plot, the how they have to like, then sort of say, right, okay, so we can't use the gas, but yeah. we've offered him a cup of tea. Sure. How do we usually make yeah. the tea? And yeah. we're all just with them cringing. I love the, the lie that gets, but well, oh my God, it... The pilot light has caught fire. <laughs> it's, <laughs> How? it's caught what? fire. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a close one. Phew. Anyway. The, the, mug, the mugs get handed out, and so, of course, Richie and Eddie do the thing of trying to uh, throw the other one under the bus so they don't have to drink it. Oh, yeah, so it's cold tea is how, yeah. they, how, they, how they say it. Um, Richie has to drink it. And, that, and that's a that's wonderful sound, sound effect as well, isn't it? Yeah, there's three things that make him drinking th- that cup of tea that uh, make it so good. Yeah. One is the sound. There's the initial... <laughs> And then at the end of it, you hear this very low bass, yeah. Right, which and the, and the second is him retching, which is what plays him with that retch. And the third is when he uh, sort of opens his mouth at the end, you can see you tea see dripping. You can see tea leaves on his tongue. Yeah. So yeah. Though it wasn't made with a tea bag; it was made with tea leaves. Okay, so it's all being all yeah. gritty, and he's done yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. But he demonstrates it in the way of putting it upside down. Look, I dr- <laughs> it's not fair. You dry drunk, my like what you should. You would, uh, you not, can't maintain any sense of normalcy <laughs> for, and that's what's so second. wonderful about then the mania yeah. from Rick, yeah. with the you've got to sit down there and drink your tea. Yeah, you know I can't mimic it because it's just so sublime. But just the the physical act of him shouting now, yeah, oh, 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 you know, you, if you were holding a cup of tea, you would drink it down yeah. there and then. He's yeah. um, bragged that this is the best tea in London. As well, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Like, like you couldn't live up to that anyway. We've sent us a link for this uh, thing. We'll, we'll probably link it into the description. It's uh, a little web series which is just Americans watching British TV shows. And obviously, he sent me the bottom one. They didn't quite get that drinking cold tea was weird because uh, they wrongly assumed that iced tea. And so I just found that very weird Stupid because it's like, no, yeah, no, yeah. this is tea <laughs> made with milk and cold water from cold tap with probably no sugar. I, I don't know. They've got the no same. idea how it's to not make the anything. Same. They don't even know what a kettle is. But no, I, I haven't watched that. I'll have to okay. check out the Americans watching a bit yeah, of yeah. bottom. Okay, well, it's... Uh... Better be careful what I Google. <laughs> well, just click the link. <laughs> there are several things I love. Just Richie's escalating mania, um, which can be seen in... I mean, there's the Hello, Mr. Gas Man. Then, as Angela, as you said, there's the Drink Your Tea. Then there's his laughter when he's trying to just sort of do his nervous laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. proper Rick Mail uh-huh. at his best. Then you get the uh, the trousers story. Yeah. You know. I, I, if you're talking standout moments for yeah, this episode, that's a good one. Yeah, it has to be. First of all, not nice, nice trousers. trousers. Yeah. Not, yeah. <laughs> I had to keep looking. Uh, I think it is a top and trousers, but it is almost a jumpsuit. Oh, isn't not, it? it's yeah. just his uniform, isn't oh, I'm it? I'm not sure. It's, 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 uniform. it's definitely the uniform. Yeah, it's like the boiler suit. I thought it was, okay. but I think it possibly might just be very matching. Yeah. I think it is a jacket and trousers. Yeah, they're not. They're yeah. not, not. They don't stand out from what he's wearing enough to even say on nice trousers. And just how it creepy nice? is yeah. it if you sat down in a stranger's house oh. and they were looking at your legs? Yeah, yeah. and yeah. with, with the, the preceding conversations yeah. about obviously making love on our own and all of that build, like you would be so unsettled if you were the gas man at that point, and especially with Rick's mad staring yeah. eyes just absolutely sublime moment and again another one that's been quoted a million times yeah. called Dave yeah. you know absolutely ludicrous but 
yeah, sublime moment in the episode, I think. In a moment of madness, they attack him, he goes down, and then they go in for one of the best continual over-the-top sequences where I yeah. I lost count of the amount of times each of them hit him. Like, uh, the, my favourite bit is the uh, the second to last... Well, the last frying pan noise where it's just on Richie's action. And he flinches. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the whole whole thing. Sound effects, this episode, phenomenal. Perfect yeah. example of yeah. what uh, bottom sound effects are all about. Yeah, the clanging of the frying pan yeah. when that, Wade drops it. That is brilliant, yeah. Yeah, it's mm. like And I think also, I don't know, special mention to Rick's hair as well when it's like kind of flailing upwards as he's <laughs> reacting lot, yeah. to the yeah. bashes yes, that he puts yeah, yeah, on the gas yeah. man. Like Rick's hair just kind of makes it even more yeah. kind of like um, something Eddie can't over do. Over the top. Have you guys yeah. seen the outtake of this? I assume you have. When Aid a- a- hits Rick with the frying pan, he quite click when he says calm down yeah. and he hits him and he quite obviously smashes him with it really. Real. Okay. And, also, and Rick's reply, I am calm and Eddie can't hold it together and he just starts laughing. <laughs> also though, that's a continuity error, isn't it? Because Aid's put the frying pan into the gas man's hand yeah. and then okay. in the next section he bashes ah, Richie with it. Okay. Have you never yeah, noticed that? Spotted. And so, then more, uh, just more mania from Richie with the, uh, wake up, wake up you bastard. Yeah, you it's know. your fault, it's your fault that you've <laughs> yeah. died. And uh, yeah, so how quickly they go through the, the panic of murder. Oh my God, oh my God, then to, well, we, you know, we'll have to cover up the body. Yeah. Uh, well, no, it's, maybe he's not dead, but then Richie's like, okay, and he's going to give him the kiss of life. And how sweetly excited he is. <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay, like nervous and like, and it's, it's played so cute and, and odd, but it's like, what the fucking hell like, is yeah. going on? Like a gentleman turning up for the first date with someone. Who, yeah. You know, where breathes. nothing inappropriate yeah. will happen. Yeah. Oh, but he does breathe into his hand like, it's, like goes all gross. And, like, and then just that he's, yeah. he's my bird, you want to fight about yeah. it? Like, yeah. <laughs> it's just absolutely wonderful that it's... And also, you know, always wanted to find out what snogging's really like. Yeah. Exactly. Again, oh, something you'd not, say to yeah. adolescent. Yeah. Yeah. But the kiss of life and snogging, I yeah. think, are different, aren't they? Well, that's it. That's what's so ludicrous about the pervy nature of it. Just yeah. any just human in contact time for first. Richie is exciting. Just, uh... <laughs> Although Richie had just said, we've got a corpse in the house and your first idea is to sexually assault it, yeah. which is then pretty much what he intends to do himself. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's, with it's, just a little bit of coaxing. The seed's been <laughs> yeah. planted. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Again, the mention of Sue Carpenter. We'll so tuck into it. Sue yeah. Carpenter to his and face. Then, then I'd eat it. Yeah. Then I'd see yeah. tuck in. Tuck into a, a clearly male body. <laughs> yeah, even, yeah, Just absolutely the ludicrous. Of it. I'd, eat, I'd eat a big, fat, sweaty Which gas thing? man. And I, love, I love AIDS. I don't like the look of him mm. yeah. as well. Just because, no, you don't really, do you? Yeah. No one wants to eat someone cold either because right. yeah. they can't use the gas. Yeah. But that leads up to, uh, to so the, for, for me, what is the, my number one of the uh, best sound effects of this episode, which is the sound effect at the end of dum 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 <laughs> which is the fork going oh, yes. into his leg yes Brilliant. I, I, I always thought it was into his bollock is it his leg oh I think it's his leg oh okay. it's his bollocks I'd say is right. it? yeah, yeah. Right, when he pulls it out the scrum- when he pulls the it out later and there's yeah. the other squelch that's definitely his bollocks uh, okay okay not that I've ever done much. I would have, yeah. yeah. I think bollock is funnier. That's where they're yeah, yeah. It's around the area. It's, it's wherever you want it to be. It's the bollocks. So, uh, yeah, then he uh, crudely uh, makes a heart defibrillator thing. From, yeah. well, it's a de- would rubber gloves protect you from a live current? I, 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 probably not. I doubt it. I yeah. doubt he may not take this seriously, but <laughs> then just rips it clear of the woods yeah. and oh, instead of pulling it back, like, we won't need that ever again. Yeah. Let me yeah. just <laughs> violently pull it away. And uh, the little shitty electricity post effect that's put on as well while he's holding mm. it. Oh, the zzz, yeah, the, yeah, the, the, yeah, the sort of... Well, a, if you were reading the Beano and someone was getting shot, it's a little that is their, thing. That's their stock bottom electricity post effect, isn't sure, it? Sure, Which yeah. is used in the contest episode, but then also in the um, when he's got his head between well, the... real different yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, another standout moment just from Rick is the ringing the kebab shop. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to eat him. We'll get someone else to eat him <laughs> yeah. for us. Yeah. And then the very, what is now probably not so nice a joke about the fact that they don't need meat for the rest of the week. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. just quite, quite run over. probably very racist. But it's fantastic. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I'm not offended by anything, I, I, but I just think that's a superb setup for I, the punchline. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That obviously, loads of stories Certainly in the 90s about kebab shops sure, sure, yeah. serving up meat that isn't necessarily yeah, yeah. cow. 
Yeah. I, I mean, think... we had the horse meat scandal not all that long ago. I don't think that a male thing is racist. It could have very well easily have been a chicken shop or, a, you know... Yeah, a it's just a dodgy like restaurant, isn't it? It's yeah. not... But them saying a male is just a shorthand of, you know... <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit... What I love is the, the slight insinuation that Richie's rung up and asked this sort of thing before. Because he's clearly very friendly with yeah. a male, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I, I like to imagine what the conversation is on the other end. How's the kebab business? <laughs> oh, it's that loony. Like, great. Oh, them. it's great. I'm blue. It's like, yeah, 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 shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. I've, just, I've just been skinning my dog. Yeah. 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 How, are you, how are you for me? And then... <laughs> well, how much information has to fit in? Uh, 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 well, uh, my dog died the other day, and then it, and it ends with with the person on the other <laughs> end telling you not to bugger off yeah. and then hanging up on yeah. you. Yeah, like, yeah, oh. he doesn't even say sorry to hear that. It's just well, bugger you then. You yeah, then. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Amal might have been going. Oh, my dog died the other day, so I'm okay with the meat, but I'm really quite cut up about it. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. He hung up. What an arsehole. <laughs> I was just starting to like that Richie guy. Uh, <laughs> And it was, but just previously as well, he, Richie had shown as much childlike interest as kissing him uh, when it came to the subject of eating him. And it just it's the laziness that sets in. That's the problem. It's not the moral implications <laughs> of murder and cannibalism. It's like, oh, hang on. <laughs> and then uh, what's right after my one of my favourite lines I quote a lot. Hello, hello, hello. What's a dead body doing under the carpet without yeah. looking? Yeah, it's out. just... I mean, we had a really cool plan, a really yeah. foolproof plan until we tested it in a proper authentic sure. way yeah. and unfortunately it yeah. fell apart at the seams because the policeman would know that the, there's a body under the carpet Straight and away, again yeah. what I do also love about that scene is the cartoon jumping on the, the body squelch. and yeah. the squelching yeah. Yeah. noises like it used to send me a bit sick but watching it again I was like oh this is absolutely like brilliant noise, just isn't it? jumping up and down on top of <laughs> yeah. this body like and then just like well I'll have to flatten it out a bit yeah. like, so they then see a badly CGI bus driving past <laughs> the window <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's part of the charm. Yeah. <laughs> Decides to try and throw him out, at which point we then get confirmation it's snowy outside. Sure. He wakes up, yeah. makes it. Before they throw him on the bus, they go for the very elaborate, uh, very believable alibi that they write into the... Uh, <laughs> his ledger, um, exonerating him of all crimes and that they were lovely, lovely people, what a lovely Atmos. Yeah, I'm going to carry out my, my hobby of... Bus yep. <laughs> Left in high spirits. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic yeah. that scene, especially because Richie isn't saying to Eddie, "This is ludicrous. Why are yeah. you writing that?" Yeah. He's just saying, "All right, Dickens, get yeah, on yeah. with it." He's not saying, <laughs> "No, we can't write that in his book. Yeah. No one will just believe a word yeah, of yeah. it." Just, just wrap it up, wrap it up. And uh, yeah, I actually had never noticed it was snowing in this episode until uh, yeah. last time last time isn't watching. that funny yeah when yeah. you're actually watching because he clearly comes in with snow all over him and then later on when they're creeping along yeah, yeah you see icicles and, yeah. and stuff yeah. yeah it is all just there to sort of set how sort of like grim the reality is around Terrible them isn't it and that's why they're sort of trapped in the flat yeah. because it's cold outside and that's how it always is in Britain yeah right let's take a moment to hear a word from our sponsor by McVitie's Digestive. You were nobbled by McVitie's Rich Tea. You were nobbled by McVitie's Chocolate Home Wheat. Well, McVitie's Obnobs are another classic made with rolled oats, wholemeal and syrup for a home-baked taste that's so scrumptious, he's been nobbled. McVitie's Obnobs, one nibble and you're nobbled. really is one of two halves isn't it do you know what I mean it does feel like com- two completely different stories first half being the gas man turning up and then mm, yeah there could almost yeah. be an advert break if it wasn't yeah. at the BBC yeah. after the gas man gets chucked out trying to find his wife so, so yes yeah, so they go over to next door uh, well to cover their tracks of uh, the next door neighbour gas hookup that they've they've crudely put in how did they get into his house in the first place mm-hmm. as, as it seems you see it, what a good job they've done this time yeah, it, it seems like in this episode they have difficulty getting into his house well so, they do go around with a half half a bottle of sherry yeah, yeah. and you wonder whether maybe they did that 
in yeah. the first place. So they're trying it again. Yeah. But this time he's got a bird in there, so he's, he's definitely not letting... And God knows what happened yeah. last time. I mean, there's clearly a story of a previous um, running with them, isn't there? Because he's furious to see them. Yeah. He's got... And like, first Immediately, all, yeah. it's yeah. them well, two like, bastards yeah. from next door. <laughs> like, yeah, and he doesn't even them. know about the illegal calls gas pipeline, them, so... Uh, bar- yeah, bastards to their face, like, talking yeah. about them as if they're not there. And uh, they've given him, <laughs> yeah, a gift... And then, it's all, yeah, and which, it's like, well, thank you, takes, and then threatens them with murder. <laughs> and how wonderful is how gruff, obviously, it's Brian Glover, standout star yeah. in this, isn't he? But, like, Amazing. it's such a gruff voice that he's coming out with. Yeah. And yeah. he's saying, I'm in love. I always think of that quote, I'm in it's love. It's so yeah. perfect, isn't it? Like, what he's saying and yeah. what he's doing is so yeah. completely polar opposite to how he's treating Eddie and Richie. Uh, Brian Glover in this episode is one, I mean, he's one of the best guest stars they've ever had on it. Him and Mr. Harrison are the two of the best ones, definitely. I mean, what a great actor to have on the show anyway. His um, outfit as well, the, the string vest, it looks like a seaside it, postcard comes yeah, to life, yeah. doesn't it? A, a string vest, his boxers and, and socks. Yeah. Yeah. And, and big the bald red, head. Big red bald head, yeah. yeah. Uh, he looked so funny. Mr. Rottweiler as well. No subtlety in naming him. Like, he grew up to be what he was always going to be with that. It's yeah. definitely my favourite one-off character. He yeah. is, a, and he is a cartoon character, yeah. as you say. Like, just the entire sort of outfit that he's got on. It's just, it's a one-off character. You think that he's in more than one episode. Yeah. Because yeah. he yeah. leaves such a mark on the memory. Well, he must have moved. He must have moved because uh, yeah, clearly he didn't forgive blowing up the kitchen and uh, sexually assaulting his his girlfriend. Does right. he? Well, no. Well, they take pictures of him. Oh, sorry, right. The... I thought he meant Mr. Rottweiler. No, 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 no. I think it's consensual. No. Well, it's yeah, that is, but the uh, the photos aren't. <laughs> oh no, no, yeah. Well, that's again yeah. the perviness I suppose... that comes into the second half of the yeah. episode. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I just suppose you couldn't really have gone any higher with the annoyance of the neighbour and stuff. And they don't really repeat uh, storylines in bottom. So, yeah, that's their classic that's sitcom true. Uh, staple. Although, although, you know, I wonder if they ever considered bringing him back. Obviously, Hedgehog and um, Spud Gun come back. Mr. Harrison did more than one appearance. And I, you know, I wonder if they ever kind of thought, oh, we'd like to get him back, but Brian Glover wasn't available or something like that. You know, mm. very possible, isn't it? Because, I mean, like when you consider how good he was in this one and how, how what a good response his character and his performance gets, yeah. it's something you'd probably want to try and replicate. He's so clearly in the right as well. He's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he, he tells him to piss off, slamming the door Crunch. Uh, with a wonderful, with, <laughs> yeah. again, one of the best sound effects. <laughs> That isn't revealed instantly until Richie then brings the doorbell yeah. uh, and so, reveals the yeah. shut my fingers at the door, and and thus retrieving his fingers and then getting his knob yeah. stuck in the door. Or another nice sound um, <laughs> and, yeah, knob that's... and bollocks, or just knob? Ah, the knackers, all of it. Well, it's all the well, same well, for Richie, well, isn't it? It's all pretty so small, small, isn't it? So yeah. it would well, be hard to uh, it's a good I, shot. When I visualise it in my mind's eye, all free. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> again setting up a brilliant bit of, of sound effects there. Yeah, then scaling the wall above the alleyway outside the flat. Yeah. The joke there, which is sort of copied later, with the uh, keep your head down, what? Yeah, keep your head down, yeah. which, yeah, very similar to the squeaky floorboard. Squeaky floorboard, and also the Richie. Yeah, Shh, yeah, Richie. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so they crawl along outside, looking through the window, which is where at one point we get a brief shot looking up through the window from outside, where we can see the top of the set in Rottweiler's bedroom and the studio ceiling, where they Brilliant. didn't put any kind of. Brilliant. Uh, fake ceiling in. I didn't notice that. Yeah. I hadn't noticed that. If you look at, there's like a shot just looking up, okay. but it's very brief. And to be uh, to be fair, you're looking at those two. Rather. I've always noticed how flimsy the window is, obviously. That window and... shakes yeah. like a motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. I also love how quickly Richie gets over there when he <laughs> yeah. says they're having yeah. it off. Well, on the rewatch, I can't believe how quickly he gets across yeah. that drain pipe. He's I like mean, a rat up a drain pipe. I, yeah. It is that. I mean, that's the joke for Richie, isn't it? Yeah. That he's going careful and Eddie's like yeah. scaling it really carefully. And then yeah. as soon as there's a chance of, a, of to see a bit of flesh a live woman. real woman he just yeah. runs across like Usain Bolt across, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and gets there in about half a second amazing yeah. and then like I can only see one nipple careful yeah. like I, ah, I've a, quoted that so many times for yeah. just anything in very inappropriate situations yeah. where wow, if I can't see I will say see. I can only see one nipple you know yeah. move that's, over that's quite odd it is a bit yeah I've got, <laughs> I've got some friends they they know that I like bottom it's just brilliant and then obviously the fact that he's got his camera around his neck ready to take the photo yeah. again well, it's a proper old flash bulb on it as well you see you do do it like that yeah. like Who I have thought it? always wondered what position they're yeah. in they're turning their heads that way aren't they yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So you sort it's of think maybe nice, doggy yeah. style or I, something yeah, that's yeah. like requiring. It's definitely not something, missionary or something. Yeah. It's definitely it's, an unusual it one. Requires it's requires some kind of contorting, uh, spooning possibly. Maybe, Who knows? Yeah. The, the, yeah. I wish we, we'd have got a shot of the room of you know them in the bed and their faces pressed up against the window. <laughs> oh I'm God, sure that would have just been. Hideous yeah. though, wouldn't it? If you oh, his nose <laughs> pressed up against it, because like, it is really so down. creepy, isn't it? Yeah. Like even though they're playing it for huge laughs, yeah, and it is wonderful. Yeah. Like if oh, you so if you sad. watch it again, like say the Americans or, or whoever who've not got any idea, like watching it, it is a very creepy, <laughs> creepy thing. Just quickly taking a photo before they fall a, down again. A photo on your camera with the flash going mm-hmm. off. Like, yeah. like that's not going to let the people know what's going on yeah. inside. Well, that's, yeah. a, that's a precursor to how much uh, um, noise and bricks get landed on their heads and stuff with yeah. well, that's none it. of them. Because I also think, what were they planning to do? Are they planning to climb through that window? How yeah. are they getting in via the drain pipe? I yeah. presume yeah. down yeah. into the kitchen perhaps so was that was the plan. just scoping it out first. I think it then... must be that they're planning to get in through a window but not the yeah. bedroom one. Well, then, but... then it's the hole in the, hole in the wall, right? Yeah. And then I, I love that, make a little hole. Yeah. Yeah, you squeeze through. After, yeah. after Richie has made all of his calculations and he's got protractors yeah. and, right, and like yeah. right angle triangles. Did, did you have that things. stuff already? Yeah. Yeah. And like, when you right. consider yeah. that they can't tell the time, yeah. and it's yeah. four hours and 27 minutes that they've got I to never get through. I like that joke. That sort of thing's where I, that always felt a bit flat for me. The oh, oh, with this we, time, we're this. Bad at maths, yeah. I love yeah. how ludicrous it's it is. A bit, um, I find it just so ludicrous that obviously it's such a simple calculation. It's yeah. quarter past six now, and we've got till nine the next morning. All that gives us four yeah. hours, 27 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it so, isn't a laugh out loud, yeah, but yeah. it's just, just so bit, silly. Yeah. So he gets told to make a tiny hole, yeah. and of course, as soon as he says that, you know the next thing sure, that's going to sure. happen is the entire wall's going to come down. Just before that, though, I like him saying, yes, yeah, so we'll do that, make a tiny hole, you scuttle through, then I'll replace the bricks. Like, <laughs> Sorry, how are you going to replace the bricks? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll replace the bricks and the wallpaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they think it's fit, but they think it's into the kitchen, don't they, sure, rather than yeah, the bedroom? Yeah. As they're going through the insane hole that they've bashed into the bedroom with two sleeping people that don't wake up whatsoever. Shagged out, aren't they? Yeah. And then they're shouting at each other <laughs> as they enter as well. Yeah. It, again, it's all just the cartoon element of <sighs> it that wonderful. they stood in the bedroom shouting at each other. <laughs> You talk an incredible amount of bollocks, don't yeah. you, Richie? I mean, they don't the wake the up, and then the bricks... The scraping of the uh, chest of drawers, oh, what my one, God, like, that, the horrific that grinding sound of gone it. through yeah, me, yeah. that. That makes a noise, there's a squeaky step, there's, <laughs> there's all of the yelling, and then yeah. there is the latter explosion. And I know this is jumping ahead, but what wakes up Rottweiler? The front doorbell. Sure. When the mm-hmm. gas man rings yeah. it, that's what gets him up. It's just like a cartoon, and we keep saying it, but it's just so superb, the way the brick lands on his head... Yeah. And then the Me too. Me too. <laughs> it's escalation. What happens mm-hmm. to begin with? We're in the room. Then the next thing, Richie's in the bed. Yeah. Then the next Eddie's thing, the... they wake up. Yeah. And meanwhile, in the kitchen, <laughs> Eddie's it's... helping himself. To the oh, that, that's the a real cartoon moment as well, isn't it? Like we haven't really seen this uh, side of Eddie in other episodes of him just scoffing all this food yeah. and like literally, oh, there's food it, there, so yeah. I'll eat more than is comfortable. I'm going to eat the yeah. contents of the entire fridge. Yeah. And, you just see and, a and, bit in and the comedy belly he gets. Yeah. Yeah. Afterwards. Right. As well. Was that so? When he stands up, is that just him poking his stomach out? Or no, I think a bit of padding. I think they put a bit of false yeah, yeah. padding on him. Yeah, yeah. I'll be like, we should ask Aid, but I, I think yeah, yeah. he was quite slim back then, wasn't he? <laughs> so there is always something alluring about a cold cooked chicken for me in a, in a oh, fridge, right? especially okay. if there's some beers in there as well. But I know it's, there's also but like enough pickle. about your sex life. Yeah, yeah. go on. <laughs> right, Eddie's always going for something pickled, isn't he? Yeah, mm. like got pickled onion sandwiches. Sure. There's pickles in there as well. Pickled Not onions, so pickled eggs. It's pickled yeah. eggs, isn't it? He, he... I've I sort of Comedy looked at the something. array on the table last yeah. night. There's so many wonderful things there. Budget, it's... budget lemonade. Yes, <laughs> like, yeah, lemonade. You think, you think you'd go for that? You go for the beers over that. Really? Well, he's got beer on the go as well. Yeah, I think yeah. he, so maybe he's he polishes shandies. it all off. Yeah. Well, right, if it was classic Eddie, and when we cut back to him, really, it should have been every single beer can should yeah. have been empty. I suppose so. Crushed up in a pile. Still finding the character, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we haven't really had the heavy drinking or yeah. drinking yeah. Uh, other substances and uh, bleach and yeah. things like that. Yeah, just have, well, he's got a job to do, hasn't yeah. he? So, you know, yeah. he's, so, he's... so gets to it and app- applies brute force to it. <laughs> and of course, what happens? There's a load of china on the shelves behind him, <laughs> smashes into the thing. What happens? Does one or two knock off? No, the entire yeah. thing comes away from the wall <laughs> and every single thing on it falls yeah, off. And cuts to Richie but reacting to the noise. Oh, God, what's, oh, what's going uh, on? Richie reacting uh, not by not by his face already being visible, but by him revealing himself mm-hmm. from a the the what, uh, we he... haven't really talked about the moment where he climbs into yeah. the bed, but yeah. it, it is just it's like... absolutely 
Ugh, but you why get he gets you, away with it because yeah, he is just why? so so You're stupid. pushing your luck so much yeah. to get into the bed. Yeah, it's not enough for him no. to just have a look. Yeah. No. So this is the point where she's just on wearing that... like lingerie, or like a nighty or something. Nothing that there's, sexy. Yeah, there's nothing that revealing. Yeah. Richie is the character of an adolescent teenager doing like the kind of like he's peeping through a peephole at something that yeah. he would, you know otherwise only ever dream of yeah know. he's got a real woman in there and he can't miss this chance yeah, to it's have a look internet you know getting porn was very tricky back then as well wasn't it it was the sort of joke where you'd find magazines in the woods and stuff but, yeah and he, it's yeah. he's already push. sort of yeah. you know we've talked about it I think on last week's yeah. one it's like he's looking at like you know catalogues yeah, and yeah, things, yeah. you know sure. so you look parade yeah. so you know, what he could get copy of girly world yeah. that will come up Matt did you ever find when you were going to or coming away from school that if you were at a bus stop that maybe had a fence behind it you'd have a look between the bus stop and the fence because <laughs> usually if you were lucky there'd be a porn mag there uh, I can't say I have no, I, no, no, I, no, no, no me, me neither, no. Me neither. Okay, I, I did find uh, I found uh, my first set of girly mags under uh, under the bed of the spare room is before my sister was born so uh, it was like, there was a spare room back then and just for, basically obviously finding my dad's porn and yeah. and like oh wow look at this and just sort of skimming through it and the bit I liked there was a little cartoon drawing of a girl with her boobs out I'm like oh that bit's good all this other stuff's a bit <laughs> a weird a cartoon so, drawing yeah. that's yeah. the bit you like that's the one I was, that was like, dad's I'm, porn I'm bloody no no it was just one you know like um, Andy Cap that sort of thing so a little free thing and mm. yeah a girl had her boobs out I'm like oh that bit's good but all the rest it's been a bit bit much for me. It was right. bloody eight or something. I'm you know Okay, okay. Yeah. And then and you, what did I do? The, it was moved before your sister actually had it's that as a before, bedroom, right? Oh right, yeah, so hang on. So my sister was born before, so I've got to be like five years old. This is really wow. yeah. So I, that's the, the cartoon bit's the only bit that really resonated with me. Are you really and into then, manga now or anything? Well, I have dabbled. I've dabbled. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> um, what a normal person would have realised, like, well, this is a bit naughty. I'll remember where that is and then put it right. But no, I, I took them downstairs and showed them to my parents like look what I found. <laughs> what we were my dad in the middle of a dinner party. <laughs> my, dad, my dad fuming. <laughs> they divorced shortly afterwards. So Richie uh, is there in the bed, which collapses, of course, in comedy fashion because yeah. it's being taken to the nth degree. So what happens? It collapses. He manages to roll out. And sits up, is sort of on his knees with the yeah. with the sheet like on a him, ghost. Th- thus yeah. making him invisible to yeah. Rottweiler and Rottweiler's misses. Yeah. yeah, and he just Pretty grabs it off him because yeah. they're, but they're yeah. so overcome with loss. What yeah. call her? You raunchy love handle. Raunchy love yeah. handle. Uh, with, uh, My big hunk of zebra, <laughs> hunk of zebra which uh, always kind of bothered me. Well, he's not wearing black and white stripes or anything. No, no, no. And a zebra isn't really what you would imagine to be the most or ferocious. Or you lion, you wild bear, or something. Something like that. Yeah, zebra, not known for sex. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the thing we mistake for a horse when we hear it approaching, you know. <laughs> Richie manages to get out of there, runs towards the kitchen, oh, then and then one of yeah. my favourite scenes, which is a huge explosion of gas, which Rick Mail is in the shop for. Yeah. I swear if you made this now, there is no one at the BBC or anyone on the production staff who would say, we sure. can allow the actor to be in the shop. Mm. Sure, sure, sure. Health Mell, and safety. Yeah, Rick Mail runs towards an explosion of gas. It's a, it's an even bigger explosion than the one he's next to in the young ones. When he, oh, yeah. When the, when the cooker goes now, up. Now, do you know, know the story with that? Oh, that... Why it goes in slow motion. But yeah, first of all, that reaction is fucking genuine. Yeah. And the reason it's in slow motion is because they didn't have enough footage of it because it melted the f- camera or the <laughs> film. So they only had a few frames of it. So they, well, we got a <laughs> really? this, but yeah, because that was a massive fuck up. He, he yeah. nearly died on that. You got yeah. any experience with exploding well, doors? Exploding doors? No, 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 nothing that I can no. share with the group at all. No, no. nothing. Okay. Nothing that was nothing that was unsafe. No. Sure. Yeah. Sure. sure. Um, when you're 11 years old, there's various jokes they make in this. Some of which are sort of sex related that you don't really get. There's jokes about the Aga Khan that you don't get the reference. <laughs> but when he runs in and says, "I thought I'd try to burn it off," and the reply is, "What your, your face? face?" Yeah. I piss myself. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Still. Yeah. The makeup on on Eddie there. That is it's brilliant. He looks so yeah. horribly burnt. Yeah. Yeah. You see him blowing his hands right in the last scene. That like, oh, 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 ow, oh, what smarts. The makeup on him, right, the with, with the red, with the yeah, red yeah. face, the burnt clothes, the fact that he's holding a match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, with the comic strip, sort of, yeah. it's yeah. just unbelievable, and especially his dazed reaction sure. as well. Like, he, what did he expect yeah. to happen? <laughs> no, they weren't thinking it through at all, like yeah. all of their plans. But, but also, the, it's nice to get the comedy consequence of the explosion for once. Like, a lot of the times mm. in sort of a cartoon or something farcical, you get it, but 
no one gets killed or injured well, by it. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not that much of a consequence, really. He's, what? He's, 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 just, yes, it is. He's, he's been horribly burned. Oh, he's fine the next episode. It's fine. It doesn't uh, uh, well, but, that's it. but that's the law of resetting every <laughs> yeah, time back yeah, to the sure. Um, Absolutely. So but then, of course, the are man. they going to get away? Yeah. Like, he's still with yeah. them. It's building. Still, okay. okay. Ding. Oh, oh, yeah. Does no, it, no is he's he, just about to knock a ring. And yeah. then the, the split second <laughs> reaction of dread and horror of the gas man. <laughs> see, oh, my, it's those two again. Yeah. So How can they behind this door? He remembers the whole ordeal, clearly. <laughs> Why is he not called the police? Yeah. He knows where they live. They're getting away from it. They're, and what has so, taken yeah. him so long? Where's he been wandering around? Yeah. Like, well, no, well, no, he said because his shift doesn't start again. That's why he wasn't doing Okay. So, oh, okay. So you reckon again. this is him 7 a.m. Yeah. first knock on the door? Yeah. Oh, I've never thought that much no, time has no, gone no, by. No, I think no. he's been wandering around. He's looked at his pocketbook yeah. and thought, right, what's my next job? I'll go there. Because he's that dazed yeah. and confused. I oh, have, maybe. I, no, no, I, I don't think it's next morning. I've never thought that this is the next day. Because th- this is, right. So when he does the plan, I think this is them later on that evening going, right, we need to do this tonight because by tomorrow morning sure. we don't have time and I think the gas man has thought oh I'll get that one in tonight so therefore I don't have to do it tomorrow maybe but it does beg the question he goes and knocks on Rockwell's door yeah. he knows that he says earlier on someone in the street is paying too much for their gas presumably that's mm. why he's yeah. going around checking them. it surely would have been him that complained it right. yeah. Yeah. and then he knows no wonder yeah. your yeah. gas bill's so high exactly yeah. Yeah, so why is he going to Rockwell's to check he should, that because, should have been the first one because we need it to happen in the plot yeah. because we need it to turn yeah, yeah, up yeah, yeah. and that's yeah. fine I'll, for, I'll forgive all that it means that he turns up, Rottweiler drags him in, and they have that wonderful scene where it's played out with the flames and the heat making yeah. the, that sort of shimmery yeah. effect, which ends with Rottweiler's... Oh, that bit. I like to imagine. It's like, right, let's try again. Can you tone it down a bit? <laughs> yep, sure. We're not going to be red with rage, isn't he? Yes. The, the he, heat, you can feel the heat that's yeah. in that kitchen. He looks like he's going to pop a blood vessel. Um, yeah. He's so red, but the way he's, he almost rolls his eyes back yeah. into his I head, think, you know? But one of my favourite lines from The Gas Man is, where are the two loonies from next yeah. door? Yeah. You know? yeah. And it's just so brilliant to call them the loonies, because yeah. that is exactly what they are. Brilliant accent that's yeah. like on that. And then, obviously, Richie and Eddie, we cut to think they've got away with it they're so ludicrous that they're I sat by the pile of bricks yeah. uh, congratulating be- themselves was this before the Kool-Aid adverts in America had the uh, thing coming through going oh yeah yeah it's a if, Kool-Aid if it was moment. before it I think they invented this yeah because he's, yeah. he's red as yeah. well his face is what bright is red what is that I don't know so Kool-Aid you, they referenced this in Family Guy Kool-Aid is a drink right. I, I don't think I've ever had yeah. it but the adverts would have like a big jug of it bursting through a door you know people would say a cartoon big jug it would burst through a wall after people were saying oh no oh no and then it'd come through and go oh yeah and they referenced this in Family Guy Mm -hmm. and I never thought about it until when I was watching this American thing the guy said oh I think we're going to have a Kool-Aid moment and then I thought no this this was probably before fuck you yeah Yeah. we're having a bottom moment actually which probably is preceded by many other cartoon moments that have gone by so final shot of the show kind of chimes in with something that I think usually happens which is it's an act of violence against one or both of yep. Richie and Eddie. Yeah. I mean, it's a great payoff. You kind of know what's going to happen. I think, we, you know, that's the last we've seen a rock for a while. being murdered. Crash. <laughs> yeah. I doubt that we'll see him. It's the next door neighbour. You're still going to see him. What are you talking about? And I don't think we'll be seeing rock yeah. for a bit. I love so the stupid. brains over brawn as well. Yeah. Like, just so, so convinced that they've got away with it. Yeah. I think we should probably just interject there, actually. I thought we've been bashing Americans quite a lot so far. If there yeah. are any US listeners... I'm fully aware that there are many Rick Mail fans who are American. Absolutely. So we don't mean to do you down. Please do email in if yeah. you'd like to add anything to this discussion about how much we've said you're all yes, please unable do. to appreciate British comedy because we know that isn't the case. 11 King Parade at gmail.com. 11 yeah. King Parade. Just click the link if you uh, can't spell it because it's uh, an awkward spelling. And also, just in with gas... Why does Rock Viler live at number two? Good You've point, uh, spot one of my questions. I thought I might have done. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. they're number 11. Ah. And Rottweiler's next door, but he's well, number two. It could be like around the back or something. Yeah, it could yeah. quite literally be the, the walls I line think up. they're probably the middle floor and he's ground floor. Yeah, yeah. But still, I noticed I that have, yeah. they're not quite next door neighbours yeah. in terms of the numbers mm-hmm. anyway. For, Do they for, say next door neighbours? For useless trivia fans. Do they ever but, say, uh, next, door they neighbor? say next door neighbour? But just if they just have to share a wall, it doesn't have yeah. to be, it could be behind it. Yeah, oh, no, no. just next door, so, yeah. Because the the loonies, says, from the loonies from next door. Yeah. 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 Oh, and and two fact, bastards from they, next door. Yeah, they're yeah. bastards, loonies, yeah. everything yeah. from it's next the door. Ba- yeah. Maybe there's not numbers under... Oh, God. 
I'm sure, well, we hadn't had 11 African Parade established yet, and it's mentioned as one offline in the next series. They obviously hadn't decided yet and forgot. Yeah. So, other moments of note in this. I like to think that they did a first a first draft of the script, got to the end of it, and went, oh, we need to have Richie Nelly fighting in this, but we haven't got it yet. I know. We'll have them laughing over something, and then laughing over it could end up with them beating the shit yeah. out of each other. Yeah. So it starts off with, ha, 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 ha. A little jab. Play yeah. jab. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> and then oh, isn't it wonderful? Yeah. It does just escalate into a just battering yeah. Rick smack three back times, him, yeah. swinging his arm around for comedy effect of yeah. you know the whole th- like Popeye like you know and this will make it more powerful. And it refers to it, uh, no time for merriment, merriment yeah. meaning yeah, <laughs> that, that's <laughs> that's what they have uh, for their that's fun. That's their bet. It's for fun. Mm. That's how they that's how they see violence. Yeah. So there's a different level of stupidity before the two of them. In this episode, it's inconsistent for the whole thing because Eddie's, yeah. you know, Eddie's often, I think, the more intelligent one, but then he, he gets tricked by Richie into like, oh, you need it's, to do all the dangerous stuff. It's like, really? It's okay. Richie's enthusiasm for yeah, a lot of things, I isn't it? So. Right? so, yeah, so, you know, it's it's for the plot or whoever needs to be the more dominant one. Again, I think it comes back they? to the sort of relationship between the two of them, which is husband and wife almost. Mm, yeah. So it's wife sort of getting the husband to do all the dangerous stuff. Through manipulation, essentially. Yeah. I'm going to go through what I think, what for me are the best sound effects. Uh, my top, I've got four, my top four sound effects and then some honourable mentions here okay. for the entire episode. <laughs> so for me, and, and you guys tell me if you do agree or disagree, number one, fork stab. Definitely agree. In, yeah. in the bollocks, all right. At the time I thought leg, but yeah, probably bollocks. And number two, fork pull out. So when you pull <laughs> well, out... It's the same, yeah. But no, yeah. no, no, it's slightly different. It's, it's a different a effect, different yeah, but I, I would lump them two together. Number three... <laughs> Drinking tea followed by Wretch. Mm-hmm. Uh, and number four... Can I guess the fourth one? Go on. The uh, chest of drawers. No, 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 no. It's no, frying no. pan. No. Frying no. pan dropping oh, okay. the Both honourable mentions. No, for me, it's the finger in the door and then the knob in the door. Oh, okay. Mm. It's such Squelch. a wonderful There's a theme here crunch. between what you enjoy listening to <laughs> yeah. in terms yeah. of like, injuries. <laughs> uh, honourable mentions, frying pan clonk yeah. uh-huh. when Eddie drops it. Yeah. Uh, the electrocution, the squelches that they make yeah, when they're stomping on him. Flattening him down. Moving the drawers. And finally, the falling down the stairs because it has the same dogs <laughs> yeah, barking. Always, that yeah. are always barking. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe you should keep a tally of how many turns have a up. lot of sound effects in this episode, it's, aren't there? It's a real sound heavy one. The other one I noted was obviously the sort of squeezing of the gas pipeline. Yeah, when yeah. When Eddie's trying to get it out. And then, oh, yeah, yeah, the, the pop. In. It's such a satisfying yeah. kind of yeah. squeak of yes. the pipe. So another first this episode had first use of one of their dual entendres with uh, have you got the wrench? No, it's just the way my trousers are. Oh, yeah. I That's remember. a good point actually. Yeah, mm. yeah. There's several firsts in this one, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. Suit yeah. carpenter, frying pan, uh, dual entendre, and um, maybe others. I don't know. Yeah, it is the second episode of the series, yeah. though. So. But yeah, there are you know the, several tropes and mm-hmm. themes that they're not of... exactly easing us in gently. <laughs> Ooh, uh, I, I, I think. Probably my favourite episode, but uh, I'm sure as we get down the line and discuss other ones, I, I'll be going, yeah, this one yeah. could also be my favourite yeah. as well. Yeah. This one is definitely my favourite. Uh, this is their take on the classic farce, I'd say, more more than any other. Uh, yeah. The misunderstanding, the trying to get one over, the angry neighbour, uh, all to the nth degree. Yeah, it's phenomenal. It's the one I'd show to anyone to get them into Bottom. I have to say it is up there in my top three, but I also absolutely love contests, so I'm excited yeah. for next week. Every week we like to end the episode with a quiz on the general facts, trivia things of that specific episode. Last week, Paul won. This week uh, is going to be me reading out the questions, and uh, Paul is going to be losing, hopefully. Yes. Well, we'll see, won't we? We have buzzers for both of the uh, contestants. Okay. okay, so this is Paul's one. And what's that called? That's Gentle Fart. Gentle Fart. And Angela, your one? I'm going to go for Squeezed Fart. But anyway, so there's going to be, there's going to be ten questions, uh, and who gets the most wins. Oh, fuck off, you two. Right, <laughs> all right, get on with it. Yeah. So, question one. When the two are playing poker, how much in real money is up for grabs? <laughs> Oh, I think that was Angela. 3P. Yes, first point to Angela. When climbing up the drain pipes, what does Eddie have strapped around him? Okay, so yeah, a cam- Paul? A camera. A camera is one of the things he has strapped around some him. Some kind of wire or rope. Yeah, some sort of string, but yeah, I'll take wire and rope. And yeah. a third thing. A third thing. Uh, well, I, 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 think I I'll can't leave. even well, fart I'll in leave. on this I'll one. Leave. 
Okay, well, I'll, I'll let Paul have that because he got two of the three, but he's got... Oh, you're getting a half. Well, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's, it's like, a, it's so one of the snow boot things, it was like a tennis racket. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, because of, of yeah, it's mountaineering yeah, yeah. type uh, type okay. situation, it's, you know, overboard. Uh, okay, next question. The man that knocks on the door and enters their house, wh- what company does he work for? The gas board. Uh, yeah, I, I, if I yeah. have it, so it, what, British gas, British gas. Oh, it okay. says it on his, it says it on uh, his, uh, yeah, mate, okay. his thing. So yeah, British gas. Okay. British gas. Of so it's course. Two one to Angela. What is the first thing that Eddie eats out of the fridge? <laughs> I think that was Paul. Just A cooked sausage. Sausage. Yes. Okay. On the accordion in the living room, they've got a picture of a pop star. Elvis. Elvis. Yeah. Sorry, you didn't actually address me there. Yes, Angela buzzed in there. It is Elvis. That's. Uh... Did you just call Elvis a pop star? Yeah. Right. Okay. Who was he then? I, I think he was a rock and roll star, wasn't yeah. he? Oh, back in the day. Well, he bloody had his stuff written for him, didn't he? There's nothing rock and roll about that. Okay. All right. Okay, he's in the same category <laughs> as Kylie. Okay. Cool. Sure. Yeah. Uh, next question what is the name of Amal's kebab restaurant the Richie Phones Angela best kebab no <sighs> Paul uh, I pressed it not knowing what the mm. actual fucking answer was uh, is it just kebab house no no ok so no one's got a point for this one uh, this one is, this was tricky to get like, yeah. there's one angle you see it it's right. Ace Kebab Restaurant ok right. just when they're about to throw him out the uh, window the gas man when he gets up you see a- Ace uh, Kebab so uh, when you right, see Kebab okay. Restaurant too busy staring at the gas man's the bollocks yeah <laughs> ok next question name all the hiding places that Richie hides his cards <laughs> Angela shoe yep underpants yep and just he's sitting on them. Yeah, that's all. So under his yeah. ass. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There we go. How many noughts are displayed on their gas meter? All right, who was that? I think that was Paul. Oh, it was me. No, no. No, you can't count. Them. No, you can't count. Them. I know. I know. I know. Seven. Yeah, it's seven. It's seven. Yes. Yeah. You, we talked about this earlier, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. yeah Should have counted like them then. We knew said, yeah. this was going to be a yeah. question. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, yeah, so why, could, why couldn't I count them in real time? Just count them up though. So, not, 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 not. In the northern accent. What is the name of the pair of trousers that live in the forest? <laughs> I think that was Paul. Oh, I think you're being generous because I'm so far behind. Dave. It's Dave, yeah. yeah. We'll give him that one. Okay. <laughs> right, and uh, last question. In the fake diary entry that Eddie makes, how long does he say the gas man will be taking a break for? Angela? Ah, buzzed in, oh. I've blanked. How long does he say the gas man what? Repeat the question. Oh, well, no, go uh, on. It's over to Paul to steal it, I think. If you don't... No, come on. Okay, in the fake I diary I farted entry, so you'll finish. In the fake diary entry, Eddie states that he will be taking a, get, a break. Do not check again. Oh, for... 300 years. Yeah, Sorry. that's 300 years. Yeah. I prematurely farted. Okay. I'll sit out for the next one. Yeah. Oh, well, there we I, go. I don't think there is a next one. I think that's the <gasps> last one. That was the last one. No! And uh, no. Angela wins that... Uh, six to three. Oh man! Yeah, got she, came. She fresh. What yet. was the tiebreaker? Tiebreaker was one you mentioned as well. It's uh, well. Do you want to answer this one for fun? Yeah. What, fun. what is the uh, author that Richie calls Eddie when writing in the? Yeah, Dickens. It is Dickens. You said it before in the. Uh, All in right, the Dickens, get on with it. That's right. Well, well done, Angela. That was Sorry, a... I am quiz queen. That's yeah. No, sure. this is true. This is true. Well done. <laughs> Yep. That's that's a self impressed title it, that I won't stand up to for the rest well of the deserved. podcast, yeah. I'm sure. Well but well deserved. Well done. Utter bastard. Yeah, bitch. That's this episode wrapped up, really. We'd uh, like to hear more from you lot on the social media. Who? Oh, the listeners. The listeners, yeah. So please uh, me- message him. Don't hear more from us. <laughs> yeah, any questions, any trivia that you have, things, and we'll, uh, we'll read them out. Yeah, email in 11 mafakingparade at gmail.com. So that's M A F E. K I N G parade, 11 Mafeking parade at gmail.com. If you don't know how to spell parade, that is P A R A D E. And if you don't know how to spell Gmail, <laughs> um, <laughs> you also, can fuck off. <laughs> also, the social media is uh, on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. It's at Talking Bottom. That's, That's where you can find at us. At Talking Bottom. Yeah, sure. So spell and everything correct, beautifully. Okay, so next week we're doing a contest. <laughs> yes. Yes! Oh. My favourite! Okay, thank you all for I listening. I think it's just because you get to see Rick's legs. Where? When? When he drops when he his, trousers. his trousers. Just that entire sit. We'll oh, talk yeah, about yeah, it next yeah. week. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Tune in then. Thank you. Bye.